Hello, my name is Don Kirkland and I work for the Town of Hudson Engineering Department. Today I'm here to introduce you to the improvements to Merrill Park. The Engineering Department applied for a grant through the New Hampshire Governor's Office of Emergency Relief and Recovery that covered the cost of 75% of this work. Hudson's Conservation Commission generally provided funding for the remaining 25%. Prior to breaking ground, we applied for a shoreland protection permit through the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services. The permit limited the footprint of our work and how much impervious surfaces we could create. The improvements are broken down into two categories, the new parking lot and the new walking path to the Merrimack River. The parking lot is 1,600 square feet and will allow for up to eight vehicles. It is finished with reclaimed asphalt pavement, similar to the parking lot that was constructed at the Musquash Conservation Area in 2021. The walking path to the Merrimack River is a significant improvement from the previous path. Prior to our work, the existing path was very narrow and significantly worn away by erosion. It was almost impossible to carry anything to the river. The new path is about 10 feet wide, covered with crushed stone, and provides stable rock steps at its steepest slope. Please note, this is not a boat ramp. This path will allow for the Hudson Fire Department to conduct training exercises related to water rescue, as well as provide them access to the river in the event of an emergency. Additionally, we hope the general public will use the new path to enjoy kayaking or canoeing on the Merrimack River. Captain Sean Ramone, Hudson Fire Department, Group 1 Shift Commander. The Hudson Fire Department responds down here approximately, on average, anywhere from three to six times a year. Sometimes the responses are down along the riverbank for a simple EMS response. Other times we do need to access the river uh, with the boat, could be something as simple as some debris floating in the river, someone has identified. It could be uh, someone having trouble in a paddle boat or of some sort of canoe or a kayak. Uh, we've also responded to motorboaters in distress. We've assisted National Fire Rescue in the past with pa patients or victims in the water in those types of situations. Uh, the ramp, what it does now, it gives us access down to the river much quicker in terms of being able to back the trailer down halfway down the trail and then carrying it down for the bottom section of it. Um, over the years it had you know, eroded and washed in and a lot of overgrowth took over. This winds it, makes it safety, safer for our first responders. It actually decreases the time that it takes to get down to the river and into the water with it being wider and safer for our responders. My name is Bill Collins and I'm the chairman of the Hudson Conservation Commission. Uh, I've been with the commission for eight years now and uh, we've been uh, actively pursuing different projects around the community uh, to make everybody's uh, experience in the town of Hudson a little better. Um, you're, everybody's using the new parking area over at the Musquash Conservation Area. I get a lot of accolades out there from hikers in the trail system. This year we kind of, well, it's actually been a couple of years that we've been looking at improvements at Merrill Park. It's in a diamond in the rough, but I mean, it's a piece of Hudson that shouldn't be overlooked. This year our engineering department and the Conservation Commission pushed for some grant funding and some resources from the Conservation Commission Fund to help improve the quality of the, the pathway and the walkway down to the uh, river itself. Well, we've been looking at, the, at Merrill Park now for a, a couple of years, even pre-pandemic. This has always been in our thoughts of improving it you know, to allow people better access to the river. I would say about three years total. Uh, but really, start to finish on this particular project started earlier or late last year and uh, through the, uh, the licensing or the permitting process probably took the longest. This is amazing. This, this was done in about a week and uh, I'm very, very pleased at you know, what transpired. So it, it's a great resource. Come on down, do a little fishing, a little kayaking. Uh, you'd be surprised just how beautiful this river really is. Always carry a personal flotation device. Always have it on you in the water. Uh, when you're operating around the water. We're required whenever we're operating along the, on the shore to have our, our personal flotation devices, U.S. Coast Guard approved uh, life vest. Having them in the boat is good. Having them on be is better because when you need them, you don't have time to put them on. Have them on at all times. Selectman Dave Morin, this project at Merrill Park is actually a two-pronged uh, project for the town. First of all, it's going to allow our citizens to, to make access to the river, which we really never had before. And second, and most important, it's going to allow our emergency services to get down here and rescue anybody or assist anybody that needs any rescue in the river. 
It's been a long time since this has been worked on. If it wasn't for our town employees, local businesses, for their assistance, we would have never got to where we are today. If you look behind me, this is 1,000% better than what happened before this. The water had washed it all out. It was very dangerous for our residents to walk down here, or our emergency service personnel. Without the work of our engineering department, our public works department, and Kennedy Excavation, this project wouldn't have been completed. We went through the grant process and it's just going to make a major difference in our town. The future is in the plans to, at some point, construct a boat ramp for motor boats. Uh, we are working towards that. We don't have any definite information at this time, but this at this time will allow our residents access to the Merrimack River with canoes and kayaks, fishing, and any other sports that take place on the, the river. We are, we are proud of this project and it will make a huge impact in the town for recreation for our residents. My name is Brian Pinsonalt from the Town of Hudson Conservation Commission. This is my second year on the commission. I'm proud of the work that we're continuing to do and uh, I just encourage everybody to come down and utilize this great thing that we've just improved upon for access to the river for fishing and hunting and all of the other access that's available to you in the town. We're working really hard on continuing to obtain land and make some nice green spaces for the residents to enjoy. The, the project wouldn't be possible without funding. And as uh, Don Kirkland mentioned earlier, uh, we did get a 75% matching grant for the project here. It, it was brought to our attention from the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce, Brenda Collins. The town applied for it and instantly got, well, not instantly got it, but received their, their share of the money. This was, uh, I think, an important step in getting this repaired because I don't think that the 25% uh, that the Conservation Commission kicked in would have covered the cost, right, Mr. Kirkland? Without uh, doing the work ourselves, self-performing the engineering, as well as grabbing some of the materials that we used on this path uh, from uh, materials that are stored at our transfer station, uh, this could very easily have cost well over $50,000. Probably $15,000 alone just in engineering and then another five or six grand just in stone. We are very proud of the fact that we self-perform this work and uh, we look forward to the opportunity to be able to do this again for the town in the future. Thank you for watching and we hope you come down to the river and enjoy the new park.